Devastation in the rebel-held Sukari neighbourhood of Aleppo on Wednesday. Activists blame a barrel bombing by government forces. At least 100 people have been killed in the past week. Locals say it's a direct result of a fatwa by a pro-government cleric calling for the annihilation of areas outside the Assad regime's control. A barrel bombing in the southwest of Damascus in January last year. Barrel bombs are cheap, crude devices, essentially barrels filled with high explosives and other materials such as scrap metal. Five months later, another bombing captured on film by local activists in the same region. According to warhead expert Richard Lloyd, the military modify the design of the bombs, placing large fins at the back to stabilise them as they fall. Human Rights Watch says the Syrian government fly helicopters above rebel-held areas at high altitudes to avoid being shot down. Then it drops barrel bombs randomly on the civilian population. Two years ago, video surfaced which activists claim could be leaked Syrian army footage. It shows the interior of a helicopter where a crew member can be seen lighting the fuse of a barrel bomb before throwing it out. Thousands of people have been killed from barrel bombings in Syria. Here, a lucky escape from a two-month-old baby following a barrel bomb attack in Aleppo in July. A UN resolution condemning the use of barrel bombs has done nothing to stop Assad from using them as Syria's civil war enters its fifth year.